Sometimes, the saying goes, one thing leads to another. And sometimes one person leads to another. And sometimes folks are connected in ways you might never imagine. For instance, we met Nathan Gutsky on a typical day at a typical fire station in Lubbock, Texas. I'm the rookie of this fire station. That means pretty much if there's anything that's really unpleasant that has to be done, I, I get the one who gets to do it. Nathan led us to Lynn Webster over at the South Plains Mall. I work here in the men's uh, suit department at Dillard's. I sell men's suits. Which led us to Russ Moore at the Reese Technology Center. I'm a administrator in the Department of Workforce Development, computer-based testing center where we give licensure exams, things of that sort. Which in turn led us to Fraven Adams in the kitchen of a local restaurant. I have a company called Texas Restaurant Equipment Repair, which means that I repair almost anything in a restaurant. So what, you might ask, do these very different men from very different walks of life have in common? Well, the answer is in the melody of a song, more than a hundred years old. Have you heard the new sensation sweeping across the land? A musical treat with a Dixieland beat. It's Alexander's Ragtime Band. Come on along, come on along to Alexander's Ragtime Band. And when the fireman, the suit salesman, the administrator, and the repairman come together, it's a four-part recipe for harmony cooked up in a barber shop, perfected on vaudeville, and still served up traditional style from the concert halls of American music history. And if you want to hear that Swanee River playing in ragtime, come on and hear, come on and hear, come on and hear Alexander's ragtime band. Barbershop quartet music is an acapella type, type of music. It's four guys singing four different parts. Let's meander and we'll take a gander and we'll see what's coming down there. The tradition of barbershop is to sing a, a simple, heartfelt lyric with a chord structure that rings and just sounds wonderful for four ordinary voices. You don't have to be a professional musician to do it, so it's just tailor-made for amateur groups like us. And if you really want to hear that Swanee River play, play in Come on. They are known as current attraction, but this foursome is actually part of an even bigger sound. The Singing Plainsman was the first barbershop singing group in the state. I think there will always be a place for it just because it's so much fun to do and it's so much part of the American vocal tradition. Every Thursday night they get together simply because they love this music and they love to sing. The faces come and go. But the sound is still the same, even after 60 years. That's why they all say, he just plays chords to make you feel grand. They call him Sam, oh, Sam the old accordion man, so many speaking. I just know that when I sing it, the songs are just so simple in nature and simple in virtue that they just make you feel good singing them. I had a friend and uh, he heard me sing and a couple of weeks later he called me and he said, Fraven, you need to come out and try out for barbershop. And I immediately said, Tom, I don't cut hair. I had no idea what he's talking about. And he said, no, 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 it's a type of music. It's a style of music. And uh, I said, well, I'll come down. And that's, that's been 19 years ago and I've been doing it and it, I've loved it. It's the high parts, the low parts and just mixing together. It's just, you know, it gets to you. I 
want them to walk away simply saying, that was fun. What good is sitting alone in your room? Come hear the music play. When you've got a good thing going, the next step is to take it on the road. And the road means competition. At the yeah. Southwest Division Contest, well-rehearsed harmonizers from Amarillo to Brownsville come to show off their chords. Find your happiness. There's a lot of things you have to think about. You have to think about the notes. You have to think about the words, the way you're standing, positioning, the way you, uh, you know, present yourself to the audience. So there's a lot of stuff to it, especially when you go to contests. I love doing it. Uh, that's one of my goals is go to contests. Representing the Northwest Division from the Lubbock chapter, please welcome Current Attraction. You know there's no, no one to talk with all by myself. No one to walk with, but I'm happy on the shelf. Hey, misbehaving, I'm saving my love for you. It's hard to say why folks are drawn to this music. Maybe because it's simple. It's part of our history. It's part of America. It's not exactly a lost or dying art. But every day, modern music pushes the barbershop singers farther into the shadows of the past. But Nathan, Lynn, Raven, and Russ say this music will always be around because it's more than just four blended notes. It's magic. Plato said something about music being uh, a thing that educates your soul in virtue. And I think about what it has meant to me. For 30 years, almost every day, I've been singing love songs. Barbershop is about love. Hey, misbehaving. Hey, misbehaving. I love that story. Me too, and we've got plenty more where that came from. Just click on the subscribe button and keep traveling with us.